We are here at a stand here that's got prototype number 17 of the pre-production series ones. Nigel owns it. Let's have a word with Nigel. So, Nigel, do you want to tell us a little bit about your very one-off rare vehicle? Uh, yes, I, well, it's a 1948 pre-production prototype, uh, number 17, um, one of 48 built. Um, I've had it for a long time, since mm. 1974. It's only just been restored by the Huber brothers in Holland. Okay. Um, it's a pleasure to see it in this state and drive it, and I'm enjoying every minute of it. So. How did you come by owning this Land Rover? Uh, well, in the 70s I used to do a lot of off-roading, trialling with a Series 180 and if I saw one derelict somewhere I would buy it and probably use it for parts. Yeah. And this one was, was behind a garage which was going to be sold for development and so I asked the owner to sell it and he did and I just dragged it home and I couldn't get it to start so somebody helped me uh, try and get it running and while we were looking around it we realized it was that's when you realized it was different it, yeah well actually I, re I should have known initially because when I when the guy wrote the receipt out uh, when I paid him there was no number plate on it so right. he just put the chassis number down as on the receipt okay and it, were, it was just <coughs> L17 and I remember saying to him well there that's must unusual. be a few more figures than that and he said no so no. I just paid him and that was it and um wow so you basically anyway. chanced on this, almost. Well, it was just luck, yeah, yeah. and I, I didn't know what it was. And um, But once I knew what it was, then I realised at some point it, it needed to be restored mm. properly. So Absolutely. I collected parts, believe it or not, for over 30 years. And um, anyway, eventually got to the stage where uh, uh, I thought it was time to, to do it. And um, so luckily the Hoovens agreed to do it. For me. Wow. Well, it's really turned out very well, hasn't they it? They are meticulous, yeah. and uh, I didn't doubt that it would end up like this mm. with, if they were doing it, so uh, very pleased. What are some of the differences between a pre-production and production series? How long have you got? <laughs> some of the main ones. The uh, main one really is a galvanised chassis. Okay. Um, bumper is welded on rather than bolted on. Um, if you start looking inside, uh, door handles are the lift-up uh, latch type door yeah. handles. Seat backs were just common to the prototypes in the early early vehicles. Um, this uh, support for the um, steering column is uh, bits of metal welded together, but that, that is prototype. Yeah. Um, other differences, tailgate. Um, it had uh, different uh, brackets here. Mm -hmm. um, the body itself uh, is slightly different, although it looks the same as the production yeah. uh, 80. There are differences where it's bolted to the chassis. Um, engine and gearbox, uh, all the components uh, castings had an X number, which denoted experimental. If you're lucky enough to have all those original components, if they've got all the right numbers on, that, that's a bonus. So right. um, a lot of these vehicles, no two really are alike yeah. because they were trying different things. They were refining the design. Uh, and that's what made it even more difficult to restore because mm. you didn't know what was original and what should be there and what wasn't there. Luckily, I did have photographs from the factory when it left the factory. So we got a pretty good idea from the yeah. outside what it was like. Um, and luckily this vehicle, because um, it was rebuilt by that garage in the sort of late 60s, um, they didn't throw anything away. You know, if the engine wasn't working, normally they would just plonk another mm. engine in while well, they rebuilt the original engine. That's fortunate. So I'm very lucky yeah. that all the original uh, mechanical components were there and the bodywork because they didn't throw anything away. Um, I'm lucky in a way that it, it wasn't done until just recently because also mm. a lot more knowledge about these things mm. has evolved since the first ones were done. Um, and so really, uh, this one is as correct as it can be. Right. Um, which, is, which is good. You've done a fantastic job with it. Well, I and like you say, it's they been, have, yeah. and, and I'm, I'm, you know, I A difficult it. process, like you say, with a pre-production model, because yes. everything's yeah. changing all the time, so. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I've always been interested. I've been driving Land Rover since I was eight, and uh, lucky to chance on this one, but I enjoy it, so. Brilliant.
So that's production number 17, or pre-production number 17, a very rare Land Rover, and the favorite, my favourite one that I've seen all day. Absolutely fantastic vehicle. Keep having a look on our channel for updated videos throughout the day from Billing 2015.